Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Today's razor review is the Rex Envoy. Comes in this cool little black box, cardboard box, with a picture of Frank Sinatra on it. Just kidding, I don't know if that's Frank Sinatra, but it reminds me of old blue eyes in his hat. So that's what I'm thinking. I don't know what you guys, you can think whatever you want, but that's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna think about it. All right, let's open it up, have a look. It comes stowed nicely in this green rip wrap or whatever you wanna call that. And let's close that up, get that out of the way. Here's a look at the razor. Really nice looking razor. When these first came in, I opened it. I was like, wow, this is really a nice razor. Very cool. The first thing that I noticed is the knurling on the handle. If you have shaving cream or soap on your fingers, no problem gripping this razor. Very easy to grip. This is 100% made in the USA, which was pretty cool. And it's marine grade stainless steel, so you never have to worry about rust. I would still dry it after using it, just so you don't get water spots or anything, but this thing will last a lifetime, no doubt. Fantastic grip on the handle. As I said, even with shaving cream on your fingers, you'll be able to grip this thing. It's like a checkered, a box-like, very small checks on the handle with vertical lines at the knob on the bottom for a little extra grip. In my opinion, the handle's a little too small for me, but I like my handles long. You may prefer it another way. Let's see what it looks like next to a, let's do a quick comparison. Here it is next to a Merker 34C. You can see they're just about exactly the same size. Almost lining up perfectly. So if you like the 34C size, this will be right up your alley. This is a little bit heftier. The specs on this razor, the length from top to bottom is 3.26 inches or 83 millimeters. And the overall weight is 3.7 ounces or 105 grams. The blade gap on this razor is 0 0.025 inches. It comes with a lifetime warranty, and if you get yours at Shave Nation, you can choose your serial number. Choose a number that appeals to you, birth date, favorite number, anything like that. If you wanna pick one of these up, just go to shavenation.com, enter Envoy in the search box, E-N-V-O-Y, and it'll pop right up. On the bottom side, it says Rex, and then also the date code, which is the Gillette date code. It, it is in line with that Gillette numbering system. Also does say made in USA on the bottom. Not sure if you could see all that. Here, let me disassemble it. It's a three piece razor. So we'll remove the handle. Now you can have a better look at the bottom. There you go. You can see what that looks like. We'll disassemble the top cap from the safety bar. As far as really good engineering, this top cap has the post and then two keyways. You can see those horizontal keyways. Those fit perfectly in these female slots on the safety bar. So when you assemble it, check it out. That thing locks in place. There is no play whatsoever. So there's no wiggle room, nothing like that. Let's drop in a blade. Here's a feather blade right over the post and those two keyways like so. And then reassemble and screw the handle on. Now check this out. See the circle here? How it's a little bit larger? And then this is cut down a little bit at the very tip. That inserts, that smaller portion of the handle inserts directly in that circle and really locks this razor together. Super engineering on it. Another great thing is that there's no blade reveal on the sides here. So there's no way you're gonna cut your fingers by touching the side of the blade here. You can purchase separately the Rex stand, which is perfectly engineered and made for this razor. There's a hole in the bottom, just drop it right on like that. Small footprint on your sink top and really holds the razor looking nicely and it spins in a circle, which is pretty cool. So it's a great way to store your razor. All right, enough about the razor. Let's get to the shave. The shaving cream I'll use is Tobbs German Street Taylor of Old Bond Street, German Street for sensitive skin. Let's remove the cap on that. And I'm just gonna scoop out a little bit with my finger. I'm just gonna drop that into my Shave Nation Artisan Bowl. 
down at the bottom in that lather spot. I'm just going to get it down in there and just scrape the rest of it along those lather lines just like that. Dry off the finger. The brush I'm using today is a Simpsons Trafalgar. These just came in. These are synthetic brushes and they come in three different sizes. T1, T2, T3. This is the T2. It's right up the middle. Medium size. T1 a bit smaller, T3 a bit larger. So we'll give this a go. I haven't used this before, but it says on the back, Sovereign Synthetic Fiber Handmade. And you know Simpsons makes great brushes. It looks like it's a three band. You can see three different colors there. But let's mix this lather and see what we can do. Let's soak it in a marble cup of hot water. Here's what it looks like when it's dry. Let's drop it in. I can hear some bubbles, so it's soaking up some water. That's what it looks like when it's saturated. Let's shake that off. Pour the water out. We'll go right into the artisan bowl. See what we can do. Got a nice sudsy lather coming up. That didn't take long. Got a nice full cup of lather already. Look at that. It's pretty sudsy. I think my tabs is a little bit older. I think this one's been sitting here for a while. So, but still, look at this. Wow, getting a lot of lather out of it. Didn't take very long at all. It's all the way up around the sides. Look at that, really nice. Lots of lather. Whew, look at that, very nice. Okay, let me warm my face up. We'll get right to the shave. All right, let's lather up. Got that bowl. Lots of luscious lather here. Let's lather up. You can see the heavy beard growth. We'll really put this razor to the test. No problem lathering up with this brush or the Tabs German Street. Drive that lather into the beard, soften up the whiskers, prepare them for the shave ahead. Little figure eight. Feels really nice. These tips are, well, man down. These tips are super soft. The synthetic brush doesn't really hold on to the lather like the Badger brush does. Let's clear the runways so we can see those sideburns. Let's temper the razor under the hot water. All right, here we go. Just gonna start like this, perpendicular, tilt slightly upward and find our angle and cut that sideburn. Just like that. Oh, look at that, very nice. Taking off my heavy beard growth, no problem. Razor is filled up. You can see all that stubble on there. Let's rinse that right down the neckline. Excellent. Left side. I did have really heavy beard growth. I was surprised it's taking it off this easy. Down the neck. Not super aggressive, definitely a medium shaving razor. Mustache, compact head, fits under there nicely. Very good, first pass complete. Just a quick rinse. I've still got some bearded on, so 
Let's do another pass. Just a light lathering and we'll get another pass in there. Clear the runways again. Now I'll go against the grain on my neck. Across the grain. And backhand. Very smooth now. Very nice. Cross the mustache. Rinse off, feel around. Super smooth, really nice. Let's lather those cheeks up a little bit. We'll just hit those cheeks for a quick against the grain pass and get baby smooth. Here we go. Just ride the cap. Put it on there so the rounded portion touches. Tilt the handle upward just when it catches. That's your sweet spot right there. Baby smooth. Perfect. Now the other side. Stretching the skin a little bit. Excellent. Baby smooth. Look at that. That's like glass right there. Really nice. Cold water feels really good. Let's pat the face dry. Let's go with some fine American blend. All American aftershave. Splash in the hand. Activate the ingredients. Oh, very nice. Excellent. Nice and light. Dries quickly. Feels great. Excellent finish to the shave. Here's a final look at the razor, the Rex Envoy. Really a nicely designed razor. Feels great in the hand. If I had my preference, I'd make the handle a little bit longer, but it works great as is, as you can see. Removed my heavy beard growth pretty quickly and without a problem whatsoever. Three-piece razor, stainless steel. Don't have to worry about rust. The blade is hidden away on the sides. And if you already have a Rex Ambassador adjustable razor, this Envoy would be the same as the Ambassador on a setting of about number three. So the ambassador goes from one to six. This would be a number three, so right up the middle. If you want to use it for everyday shaving every other day, it'll be perfect. I had a heavy beard growth, heavier than usual, and it still went through it in two and a half passes, no problem whatsoever removing it. Made in the USA, what more can I say? A beautiful looking razor. If you want one of these beauties for your very own, go to shavenation.com, enter Envoy, E-N-V-O-Y in the search box, It'll pop right up and you can choose your very own serial number, something that appeals to you. Also, you can pick up the stand, bam, put it on your sink top. It looks like a work of art. Please do me a favor before I go, click on the subscribe button and then click the bell and then click all. That way you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. They'll go right to your inbox. You won't miss any. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh-oh. Looks like I have a 4 o'clock shadow. Gotta go to ShaveNation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.